This is Discover 4, Unit 11 and 12, Speaking Test. Hello. Hello. Can you introduce yourself for me, please? Um, my name is Helene. I'm 13 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm from Discover 4H in CC. And uh, I love watching K dramas. Do you have a favorite K drama? Yes. What is it? It's uh, our loving summer. I, I think so. It's about, I think I might have seen one or two of those. It's been a very long time since I saw a K drama. Okay. Do you like K pop? No, I think no. What, I don't. What, what's your favorite kind of music? I think it's V pop. V pop? Okay, do you have a favorite V pop artist? Mm, artist? Yes. Um, I think it's Amy. Okay, good. Right, okay, so we're going to be talking about the human body here. Yeah. Okay? So, first, we're going to talk about viruses. What can you tell me? What do you know about viruses? Viruses is the very small things, and mm -hmm. scientists need, need to uh, see by the my, super my, microscope. Mm -hmm. uh, viruses um, make, uh, make us have uh, diseases. Good. What kind of diseases do they cause? Do you know? Um, like influence mm -hmm. and uh, uh, paralyze. Some viruses can paralyze people. Yeah, like right. polio virus. That's correct. Well yeah. done. Yeah. So the polio virus can paralyze people. Yeah. You're absolutely right. You've actually spoke about one of the viruses already that I would like you to talk about. We're going to be talking about the influenza virus. Mm -hmm. So let's say I come into a cafe. What, how would you know that I have influenza? What kind of symptoms might I be showing? Um, like you look tired or mm -hmm. you are sneezing and coughing. What else might I have? Uh, you ready? will have um, uh, the... Wait, wait, wait. Fever. That's correct, yeah. I'll, be, I'll have a fever, I'll be coughing, I'll be spluttering. I, yeah. will, I will look very, very bad, right? So let's say I walk into this cafe, you look at me and you're like, oh God, he's got influenza, I yeah. don't want it. Yeah. What can you do there and then, not what will your body does, what can you do there and then to make sure that you don't get influenza? Um, I will like uh, cover my face by the mask mm -hmm. and uh, I will uh, like washing hands and uh, yeah, and when talking you to you, I make sure that the, the distance is the... Uh, That's a good answer, yeah. well done. So when we're talking about washing our hands, can you give me a little bit more details? How long should I be washing? Well, how long should you be washing your hands for? And how should you be washing your hands? Mm, we should wash our hands uh, at least at 30 seconds mm. and uh, by soap and by the warm water. Mm. So, when we're talking about influenza, how does the influenza get from my body to yours? When you like uh, speaking to me, the, the viruses from your mouth uh, and from your uh, air which you uh, um, exhale mm -hmm. is come to my body. That's correct. So the, the virus travels, it's airborne. Yeah. It goes across in the air. It's also for contact, right? So if you touch something, like for example, a viral influenza, and you touch his pen, and you go like that, and put it in your eye, yeah. you're then going to catch it. Okay? Good. So we've been talking about how you protect yourself in, in, through the actions that you can do. But let's say the worst happens. I come over, I put <laughs> you go, you breathe in, right? Mm -hmm. What does your body do? to help protect the virus, uh, protect against the virus. Our body has an immune system. Right, so what makes up the immune system? Um, the skin, mm -hmm. our nose, hair and mucus mm -hmm. and the axis in our stomach and the white blood cells. You're absolutely right. So now let's talk about these in a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. If the virus lands on our skin, why do you not get infected through the skin? Because our skin has the white, uh, has the dead cells and viruses can't live on our skin. Well done, that's the first one then. So now let's talk about we breathe in and it goes through our nose. What does the nose hair do? Uh, 
uh, the nose hair catch the viruses and it uh, has mucus and viruses get in the mucus and we um, like uh, swallowed it to our stomach and in our stomach has acid and it kills the viruses. Right, you're absolutely right, but not all viruses can be killed in the stomach acid. Yeah. So what does our body then do with the white blood cells? What do they do? They uh, fight with the viruses and kill them. That's absolutely right, well done, very good answer. Right, okay, so let's talk about this. This is different parts of the respiratory system. What's this? It's nose. Of course it is. What's this thing? Um, trachea. Good. This? Lungs. And this? Diaphragm. Well done. Now let's talk about the different parts of the circulatory system. What's number one? Uh, is um, arteries. The other one. Veins. There you go. Well done. What's number two? And the arteries. Well done. What's number three? Good, and number four? Begins with a C. Uh, 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 Okay, if I ask you a question, don't worry, it's just because I want to know a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I'd like you to tell me in as much detail as you can. Right. Okay, uh, first, uh, our diaphragm helps uh, the lungs to expand, then the air flows in our uh, lungs but, uh, through nose or mouth, then through the trachea and into our lungs. The air has oxygen, which our body needs to live. Uh, then the oxygen passes from our lungs to our capillaries, uh, which brings the oxygen to all of our uh, cells. Uh, stop. You're absolutely right. The oxygen does go through that, and it does go through to the rest of our body where the cells then use them. But how? What? What makes that By the uh, arteries. You're correct, but how does it go through your uh, arteries? Um, uh, through uh, capillaries. Not quite. You're missing a step. Ah, uh, the, the the heart pump it, so it goes to the, um, the cells in our body. Goes around the body. Right. Yeah. So now we're in the cells. What happens next? After the cells use the oxygen, mm -hmm. uh, it uh, create carbon dioxide, which need to get out of our body. Mm -hmm. uh, then the carbon dioxide uh, passes to our heart. How? Uh, by the veins. Correct. Well done. Carry on. Then the uh, carbon dioxide um, passes. Uh, from our heart to our lungs, mm -hmm. and then we exhale the carbon dioxide. You're absolutely right. The diaphragm contracts. Or yeah, expands. the diaphragm shrink the lungs so we can exhale the carbon dioxide. Well done, very good. Okay, so now let's talk about this. In your opinion, do you think you live a healthy life? In my opinion, I think it's not. Why do you say that? Because uh, like I do um, not many like exercise and I eat less vegetables and yeah I I try to drink more water because I drink very like not not not, not much water in the day. Okay, so what do you think people need to do to stay healthy? They have to do more exercise mm -hmm. and uh, eat healthy food like uh, vegetables and fruits uh, and uh, they need to drink uh, drink water. So what kind of, um, when you're saying drink more water that they should eat vegetables, how, many, how, how much is a lot of vegetables? Uh, vegetables and fruits, you have to eat a uh, 
uh, like five kind of vegetables and fruits a day and you have to drink at least as two liters water a day. Good. Is that, are they the only two things that we should be doing to stay healthy? Is there something, is there anything else that you think we should be doing? Yeah, we should avoid junk food and we should sleep enough. How much is enough? Mm, eight hours a day. Good answer, well done, next stuff. And that concludes the video test. Bye. <laughs>